January in the books. Locking it down for January, talking about what went down in my Apex accounts, what I'm struggling with, what I'm doing good with, and also, yes, I lost a few Apex funded accounts. It's true. It's real. I do lose sometimes. It's not always green, green, green. Sometimes it's red, red, red. What's going on, guys? Pulling up the Apex Trade of 8 platform here, and well, if we go to my accounts, you can see what we got going on here. Right now, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 total funded PA accounts, right? These are funded Apex accounts. Right now, they get 71% off and it's $35 for resets currently. So if you're thinking about signing up and you're thinking you might do some resets, it's only $35 a reset. But let's talk about my progress so far. So these are the $150,000 accounts, obviously $150,000 accounts. They are up to 164,000 basically. 164,000, some of these are up to 165,000. So let's just say, you know, best case scenario here, $14,000 times 13 accounts. That's $182,000 in profit. That's $182,000 in profit right now spread out across these accounts. So what I need to do is I need to continue on. I have to continue to trade and just basically keep myself from losing, be consistent with my sizing, and make sure that I'm only taking A plus trades, right? I just need a few more days to hit that target of 10 days for the payout, and that'll be a $2,700 payout per account. So. $2,700 times 13, that's a $35,000 payout in just uh, one week, basically, is what I need to do. So I need to focus here, don't fuck around. It's okay to have a small red day here and there, but I just need to hit that 10 day. 10 day, it doesn't have to be even be green days, it just has, just has to be 10 trading days. 10 trading days, so I actually just locked in kind of a flip day here. I'm not gonna trade tomorrow morning, so I just placed one trade, just so it'd be technically considered a one trade day or a trade in general for this day. The thing about this is this basically is going to give me a day of trading, but I can only do this like twice, like two times out of the total 10 days. Most of the days trading, I need to be making sure that I'm trading consistently with my size. And it's not just about the profits, it's about the sizing, right? Like I can't be taking 50 contracts make a bunch of money and then basically lose it all. And you know, it's gotta be like consistent. You can't just trade one contract every day once you hit a big jackpot. So, you know, as of right now, like I really don't need to do anything crazy, right? Like I can just continue on. I can size down a little bit, try to trade consistently here, hit that 10 day period. The buffer stops, I believe at 154,000. So above 154,000, you're able to take a payout and you could actually draw into that buffer as well. Luckily for me, I've got plenty of buffer here and I just need to make sure that I focus on being consistent and not trying to hit home run trades, right? That's always the big thing. With Apex, you have the trailing drawdown, so you have to take profit. A lot of people hate the trailing drawdown, but the nice thing is once you've hit the buffer, the trailing drawdown no longer follows. There is no more trailing drawdown, like my accounts, my Drawdown is basically 150,100 at this point. I've got about $14,000 of equity to play with in terms of you know risk reward and all of that fun stuff. So right now, just trying to play it safe and just trade consistently, stay out of the bad stuff. Today, I ended up losing. So I had 19 total accounts and I ended up losing six accounts today. I was basically trading like three accounts together and just it wasn't really working out with the FOMC. The, I thought I was gonna get a big move, didn't get a big move, got chopped up, and kind of missed out on some. But then I ended up making profit in most of the other ones, and that's what got us up there to that $164,000 point. So right now, it's just about being consistent. We've got a lot of buffer zone, we got a lot of wiggle room, we don't need to go crazy. Remember, we can only withdraw $2,700 in that first payout anyway for the first three months. So. What I need to do is just, and that's per account, $2,700 per account, by the way. So I have 13 accounts, that'll, be, that'll be over $30,000. This year so far, you know, my big focus obviously has been the idea of 
getting payouts, right? Apex has paid out 90 million right there behind my head, 90 million. The last 90 days, 35 million. So Apex is paying out. That's what I'm trying to do, get to my point where I get my payouts. I've already gotten payouts from my fund of futures. I got payouts from Take Profit Trader in January. I've already beaten my 2023 payout goal or my 2023 payout, how much I made in 2023 payouts. I've already beaten that in the first month of January. And now with these Apex accounts, I could get very close to doing it again this month, but I just need to make sure that I don't fuck around and don't give back profits. Don't just, just trade, Patrick. Just trade what you need to. Focus on these accounts. Get them done. Get them payout. The goal is Apex Trader Funding Payouts, baby. We're getting payouts in 2024. If you guys want to learn more, if you want to learn more about Apex and all that fun stuff, there's links down below. You get 71% off right now. And then you get the $35, uh, $35 resets there. So that's the news. That's how I'm doing. We're doing it. We're losing accounts here and there, but we're staying focused. We are up to 19 accounts. We're back to 13, but we're going to survive, my friend. We are going to survive.